So if you are getting a new account from the TCUS Zoom system, so if you didn't have an account with our CEHS system first, so if you're not moving from our system to their system, if you're basically just getting something brand new, you'll get an email that looks like this. So it'll come directly to your email address. And in your case, should come to your at tu.edu email address, even if you have already migrated to O365. The reason for that is twofold. One is that Zoom is not a single sign-on system so that you don't need to use your um, Toro One ID in order to get in there. So it's a separate system. The other reason is that Zoom actually has a tool developed that will allow us to update all of the email addresses for everybody all at the same time from their at tu.edu email to their at toro.edu email. And when that happens, I'll alert you to the fact that it is going to happen, uh, but that will be done in the system so you don't have to worry about that. So when you get this message, and it'll probably come from Amelia or Vishal or from Chelsea, uh, what you want to do is you want to click on activate your Zoom account, and you want to sign up with a password. And so you'll punch in your first name, your last name. You will create a password that does the following. And then you'll do the, I'm not a robot. And then you'll click continue. And then that will set you up. So you can see that um, as you go into, you can start a meeting right away. They'll give you a default personal meeting room ID and or you can just go into your account and what you'll see is when you go into your account and we're just going to scroll down here you will be in account number one two three nine oh four if you wanted to check for good measure you can scroll up and click on your account profile and when you look on that you'll see it's an education the account name is frank steen who is our cio for technology or vp for technology in the system um, and by checking the account profile, it'll actually indicate that you're in the right spot. So that's how to do this. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know.